Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Nick, and we are back with another video. So, in today's video, guys, I got another tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna be doing a drop fade on my boy Albert with a one and a half on top, and I'm also gonna be cleaning up his beard too, as well. So, if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get into it. So, before any cut, guys, I like to go ahead and brush the client's hair, make sure everything's laid down, and I also like to check for any perfections, any cow licks or any uh, moles, anything like that. I don't want to run over that with my clippers. And then, as you guys can see. I got my one and a half on my BGRVs and I'm gonna go with the grain and uh, I'm gonna make sure I'm doing smooth consistent strokes now I like to go the, over this as many times as possible making sure I get all the hair make sure it's all even over top and then I'm gonna come back with my wall seniors cordless with the one and a half now the reason I do this I just feel like it gets a little bit of a closer cut and it also helps get rid of any of those flyaway hairs that I may have missed with my BGRVs now with my five out blade on my BGRVs, I'm gonna go ahead and start my first guideline, which is gonna be my bald guideline. I like to normally start this right at the end of his box, right below his temple, and I like to drop it down. Now this five out blade, it, uh, it knocks down this hair real fast. Like I said, these BGRVs, man, these are my workhorses. They knock off hair like it's nothing. But I'm also gonna come back with my T outliners just to get a little bit of a closer cut. Um, the five out blade, it gets it real close, but man, these t outliners they get it, get it extra bald so i'm just going to come back make sure everything's cleaned up now with my black fx's with the lever all the way open i'm going to go ahead and start my second guideline now i'm going to make this about an inch to a half an inch wide and i'm just going to do this around one side of the head um, i normally like to bring this all the way around the head but for the tutorial purposes i'm just going to be doing it on this side of the head just so uh make the tutorial a little bit easier for you guys to follow along with Now with my one guard lever all the way open, I'm gonna go ahead and make my second guideline. Now, like I said, I'm gonna make this about an inch to a half an inch wide. Smooth, consistent stroke, guys. You wanna make sure these guidelines are even. The more even your guidelines are, the more even your cut's gonna turn out. Now with my number two guard, I'm not gonna really make a guideline. I'm just gonna go ahead and start flicking out at this bulk at the top. As you guys can see, I started out with it open and now I have it closed. Um, I started out with the open just to test it out to see how his hair reacts. And uh, now I got it closed and I think it's taken off some hair. So now I have my one and a half guard with the lever all the way open and I'm gonna be doing the same thing, just flicking at this bulk, trying to blend it into that one with the lever all the way open. Now, like I said, I'm just flicking out. Now I have my lever closed and I'm just flicking at this line. As you guys can see, the line is starting to come out. I'm just uh, making sure I don't go above where I went with my number two and I'm just flicking out at the top, guys. Now with my one clip with the lever all the way open, I'm just gonna flick out any residual line that's left over. Now you may not need it, but there was a little bit of a line left over. Now I flip my lever all the way closed and I'm just hidden right below that guideline, that one and a half guideline, and I'm just trying to soften up this area as much as possible. This isn't gonna take out that line, but I'm just trying to soften it up as much as possible. Then I'm gonna come back with my half clip and then I'm gonna hit that line a little bit more. So got my half clip, lever, I'm gonna do it halfway just to kind of test it out, see how much hair it's gonna take off. And then I'm just gonna play with that lever. Now, as you guys can see, I'm just using half of my clipper. Well, I'm just using the corner of my clippers. I'm not using the whole clipper. Um, if you use the whole blade, it can potentially set another guideline. Now, I'm just trying to flick at this line to make sure it comes out. So I'm gonna use the corner of my blades to help blend this line out. And as you guys can see, the line's already starting to come out. So I'm just gonna keep on flicking at this line, making sure it comes out. I know when I initially started cutting hair, the half line was one of the hardest lines for me to get out. I was always afraid to get in there and attack the line because I thought if I did, I would potentially raise the fade and mess it up. But as long as you stay below where you set that guideline, you don't have to worry about raising the fade, but you do need to get in there and attack that line. Don't spend unnecessary amounts of time messing with this. You just wanna get in there and knock it out. 
so for the right side of the head i'm gonna speed things up a little bit and let you guys watch but i'm gonna be doing the exact same system now you guys want to develop a system i know one thing when i first started cutting hair i was all over the place my time was everywhere it would take me anywhere from an hour and a half to an hour and 45 just to do a simple fade but once i developed the system everything got a little bit easier my time got better and my cuts started becoming more consistent And also guys, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and subscribe to your boy. Go ahead and like this video if you're getting some knowledge from it and turn on your post notifications to be notified every time I drop a video. And another thing guys, you always wanna keep a brush or a comb in your hand and constantly brush your client's hair in the direction of the growth pattern so you can see how much hair the clipper is taking off. Now, just because you have a system doesn't mean it always worked the first pass. So don't be afraid to go back and detail your cut. The system is just a blueprint for the fade. On some clients, the fade might come out flawless the first time and on other clients, it may not. It's all dependent on if they have any dips in their head, the hair texture. So don't be afraid to go back and, you know, go through the system again. And as for his beard, he wanted me to take it down a little bit. So we're going to run across it with the number three and then we're just going to fade it down to blend into his sides. I'm going to knock down his mustache with the one and a half. So when I hit it with those edgers, the line comes out crispy. Now for blending his beard, I'm just gonna down fade. I'm gonna work my way down from a two all the way to a half until his beard is faded in with his sides. So now I have my cordless T edgers and I'm just gonna start to line his beard, make sure to keep it all natural, making sure to not take it down too low because when it starts to grow back, it's just gonna look ugly. So you wanna make sure you keep it as natural as possible. Now, like I said earlier, guys, you wanna keep everything as natural as possible. I could take his beard line down a little bit more and make it a little bit more crispy. I could thin out his mustache a little bit more and make it a little bit more sharp. But when it starts to grow back out, man, uh, it, just, it just looks nasty, you know? That just makes the client have to come back more often. It doesn't last as long. And some barbers like to do that. They want the client to come back every couple days. Me, I want my haircuts to last. I feel over time, the client will appreciate it and you know it just, it just looks better man and as for his edge up i'm just going to start in the middle and work my way out to connect it to his boxes
So as you guys can see, this cut is already crispy, but I did add a little extra hair fiber just to take the cut to the next level. So I'm gonna be using my razor just to make these lines extra sharp. Now, when it comes to the razor, you wanna make sure you're stretching your client's skin. It allows the razor to glide without nicking your client. Now I'm just using my shears to cut down any little frizz or any little flyaway hairs. Now, when it comes to this guys, clients notice the little details and they like, they appreciate it. So just by doing these little things, you can separate yourself from the average barber. All right guys, so now we have the before. And here's the after. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace.